Many congratulations to everyone graduating in 2016. You're very special to us because this year is the SOAS Centenary. I think my first experience or thoughts were what have I got myself into? There was a community atmosphere from the very first day. Like this is my time to really be independent in the world and find myself and see, see what else is out there, so I was excited. I was really, really nervous. Um, I had heard a lot about the university and I came in and it just exceeded all my expectations. So I remember walking in and seeing a falafel tent, seeing people dancing to different types of music and I thought, wow, this is what it means to be at SOAS. Ooh, SOAS is like... Oh, it's too much. SOAS is like... You can't compare it to anything else. It's, it's a completely different world. And SOAS is like a big pot of curry. It has many ingredients, many spices, and it takes you a really long time to appreciate what it is and really taste through all these different spice ingredients. A giant bubble that you never want to burst. SOAS is like Hogwarts. It doesn't look like it, but the people are weird, but also cool at the same time. SOAS is like the world in one place. A Middle Eastern wedding. <laughs> so us is like home. <laughs> my one word that I would say to explain my experience at SOAS is free. Emotional. <laughs> Indescribable? I can't describe it. Just fabulous. It's strange. Amazing. Invaluable. My time at SOAS has been eye-opening. Priceless. Many congratulations to all of you on this special day of the graduation. This is the beginning. It's not the end. You've acquired a lot of skills during your time at SOAS. I hope you've had lots of fun along the journey. But I hope that as you leave and as you move to whatever you're doing next, that SOAS will have a very special place in your heart. It's kind of like an entrance to the, to the whole world. But now you've got to go out there into the world and use those skills and change the world. Good luck. What I'll miss most about SOAS is the environment. Um, there's never a dull day here. The thing that I'll miss most about SOAS is my friends. I'm um, just seeing everyone together and coming out even like at exam time when the weather is so beautiful and just sitting on the steps, going out, getting lunch, everyone just being together. That's probably what I'll miss the most. I'm going to miss the craziness of SOAS. Walking into the JCR, seeing someone playing a ukulele next to the piano, people eating Kari Krishna food, the different smells and sounds and different languages in the air. I'm really going to miss that. I think coming to SOAS on a sunny day is probably one of the best things um, and it's something which I'm definitely going to miss. Um, what I'd miss most about SOAS is the people. Um, at SOAS there's a diverse range of people all over the world and from different cultures, backgrounds. The people. The people, hands down. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. literally the world is at SOAS. You meet people from yeah. all countries speaking all kinds of languages and yeah, you just find yourself there. SOAS is a special place and I hope you will remember SOAS and keep SOAS in your heart when you go out there changing the world. Remember what you've learned here, the discussions you had and stay in touch with us and all the best for the rest of your lives. SOAS has given me confidence, I think. A chance to care about the world around me and given me an actual real chance to talk about it. SOAS has given me memories of a lifetime. Knowledge of the world that I don't think I could have learned anywhere else. It's changed me sort of, you know, just as a person. I think I'm a different person leaving it than when I came in. SOAS has given me a completely new outlook on the world. I'm quite an international person myself, but SOAS has really blown my mind in the sense how diverse the world can be. I didn't really know what I wanted in life. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I feel like coming out of SOAS, I've really truly found myself. SOAS has given me power. Don't forget to keep in touch and all the best for the future. I think, okay, I'm not an emotional person, but just lately, whenever I think about the end, I go like, oh my God, am I gonna cry? And I think I might cry. This is not the time to give you advice, but I do hope that you will be the very best you can be in whatever you choose to do. Good luck.